is in full swing after verification that a quorum is present. The next order of business is the continuation of the resolutions. Will the resolutions committee chair please present the next resolution? Thank you. I move the adoption of resolution number 16 titled in support of increased awareness of and education about caffeine in energy drinks. It has been moved that the resolution number 16, titled In Support of Increased Awareness of and Education About Caffeine and Energy Drinks, be adopted as stated. Would the author of this resolution like to speak? Speaker at microphone two. Thank you, Mr. President. I am Megan Goodman from Villanova University, Villanova, Pennsylvania, and I am the author of resolution number 16, In Support of Increased Awareness of and Education About Caffeine in Energy Drinks. As part of the community, nurses must ever be aware of changes in popular culture that affect the health of their patients. Energy drinks have become more prevalent in the media as a method of caffeine consumption. As such, we should be aware of the possible dangers associated with the excessive intake. Once an author has spoken to the motion, delegates may speak for two minutes each. Members of NSNA and non-delegates may speak for one minute and may only speak once to any resolution. No delegates may speak more than twice to a motion. The author of the resolution may be called on by the chair to address questions as they are presented. Once delegates who desire to speak to the issue have had an opportunity to speak, then the delegate who has already spoken may speak a second time. Speakers are recognized by the chair in the order in which they reach the microphone, alternating between pro and con speakers as long as normal flow of debate is maintained. Debate on an issue cannot be closed until a minimum of one pro and one con have been heard, unless there are no pros or cons to be heard. Only delegates may make motions and vote. Con card at microphone one. My name is Sabrina Lozier from the University of North Florida in Jacksonville, Florida. I wish to speak in opposition to this motion. Caffeine is in multiple items, not just energy drinks, and may be a compounded issue. As such, I suggest that energy drinks be removed from the resolution. Point of order. Please state your name and point of order. My name is Caroline Miller from Duquesne University, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I believe that making this suggestion for changing the resolve statements requires an amendment. Yes, that is correct. Point of order may be called from the delegate seat because it is a time-sensitive point. The maker of the point of order should move to the microphone to state their point. Motions that may interrupt the order of speakers at microphones are made from a designated microphone at the front of the room. These motions include a request for information, parliamentary inquiry, point of order, and personal privilege. To amend a motion, a member must put the amendment on a motion form, submit it to the monitor, and approach the designated microphone and hold up a blue card. Speaker at microphone two. I believe you have a motion before you? Uh, yes, please proceed. I move to amend the resolution by striking the words energy drinks from all of the resolved statements in lines 31, 33, 35, and 36. There is a 15 minute limit for discussion of each issue, including any proposed amendments. Therefore, time spent discussing an amendment to the main motion is counted towards the 15 minutes allowed for discussion of the main motion. Do you have a second? Second. Amending the resolved statements is permitted. Changing the title of the resolution and the whereas statements is not permitted. If the amendment passes, the resolution will be edited to reflect the approved changes. It has been moved and seconded to amend the motion by striking the words energy drinks from all resolved statements in lines 31, 33, 35, and 36. Would the author like to speak to the amendment? Yes. Research indicates that caffeine is in many drinks. It is not documented that energy drinks are the main concern related to caffeine intake, but rather a combination of multiple and varied sources of caffeine. Thank you. Con card at microphone one. My name is Sean Garrett from the University of South Carolina Aiken, Aiken, South Carolina. I am speaking against the amendment. Although caffeine comes from many sources, the introduction of energy drinks and their popularity has seen a rise in emergency room visits. The documented number of emergency department visits involving energy drinks 
has doubled from 10,068 visits in 2007 to 20,783 visits in 2011. Clearly, there is a specific need to educate the public about the proper use of energy drinks. Blue card, microphone two. My name is Johanna Bridges from Baylor University in Dallas, Texas. I call the question. Motion to close debate is not in order at this time. Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of this motion? We need to have at least one pro and one con before you can close debate, unless there are no pros or cons to be heard, according to rule number 11 in the business book. Seeing that there are none, the motion to close debate is in order. Is there a second? Second. When someone calls the question, they are making a motion which requires a blue card and a vote by the House of Delegates. It is not debatable, and the chair will immediately call for a vote on the motion to close debate. If the House votes in favor for closing the debate, the chair will then call for a vote on the proposed amendment. To close debate requires a two-third affirmative vote. If the House desires to continue debating the amendment, they must oppose the vote to end discussion and then continue with the discussion of the amendment. It is moved and seconded to close debate. It is not debatable. Closing debate requires two-thirds vote in the affirmative. All those in favor of closing debate on the amendment, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say no. There are two-thirds in the affirmative. The motion is adopted and the debate is closed. We will now vote on the proposed amendment. Those in favor of amending the main motion to remove energy drinks from all resolved statements in lines 31, 33, 35, and 36, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, say no. No. The noes have it and the motion is defeated. We will now return to discussion on the main motion. There are 11 minutes left for debate on this issue. Four minutes were expended prior to and during our discussion of the amendment. Procarb microphone two. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Jay Lim from University of Central Florida in Orlando, Florida. I speak in favor of this resolution. There can be as much as 400 milligrams of caffeine in a 10 hour energy drink compared to 35 milligrams in 10, 12 ounces of a cola drink and 100 milligrams in eight ounces of coffee. Researchers have demonstrated that the stimulant effects of caffeine are enhanced by additional compounds contained in energy drinks. Consumers need to be educated about the detrimental effect of high blood levels of caffeine on blood pressure, heart rate, and brain function. Thank you. Are there any con statements at this time? Microphone one. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Kelly Bell from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm speaking against this motion. Although caffeine is a powerful stimulant and can cause side effects in consumers, it is much easier to just grab an energy drink rather than have to brew a cup of coffee, and it is far less expensive than a cappuccino or latte. Your energy level will rise in no time at all, and you can get to the end of that night shift feeling wide awake and ready to provide morning care to your patients. Thank you. Are there any pro statements at this time? Is there any further discussion? The question before you is on the motion to adopt resolution number 16 entitled, uh, in support of increased awareness of and education about caffeine and energy drinks. Those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. No. The ayes have it and the motion is carried. Please join us for the NSNA annual convention.